So yeah, uh, my name is Matt Yukuma. I'm the founder and owner of 9001 Productions, and this is Amia. Yeah. And then Walter Marcinos, uh, Mia's friend and manager. So when I first came to Matt, I told him, okay, my two concepts are Batman and Purple Rain. Okay, so he, he looked at me like, all right, cool, I'm down. And that's when I knew, okay, he was the perfect film like, career director for the job. So I really, um, my vision was to kind of see, you know, a personal battle um, with yourself and kind of come to the conclusion that, you know, um, you can um, solve it. True, true. Um, one of the, I guess one of the underlying things that um, we definitely had to work with is, um, you know, they say you're working with a low budget or micro budget. I mean, we were working with ultra micro budget. You know, we had virtually no money to work with. And so we we had to really draw on all of our resources and pull everything we, all, everything we could and draw on our network to, to make this, you know, come to fruition. So, you know, they hit the thrift stores for like the wardrobe stuff, you know, like the, the jacket was only like six dollars or something yeah, like that. Cool. Which is like, um, you know, like the, the little tracking device that we use, that was from a pawn shop. I got it for like eight bucks, like the '70s or something, in the '80s. Um, but uh, I guess one of my uh, inspirations from a filmmaking perspective is uh, Robert Rodriguez, another Texas filmmaker, and um, one of his mantras is to make it look expensive. So don't necessarily go out and you know spend a ton of money or rent the nicest camera, but utilize what you have at your disposal. Well, I know a lot of you guys come to these meetings kind of as a musician. Are there any? I'm so I'm her manager, so uh, it was pretty cool uh, that I have the opportunity to work with her. Are any of y'all maybe like interested on that aspect of management, musician, or marketing? So I guess one advice, because the way I found this, I was just like searching Facebook. I have like a list of like organizations that I keep, keep track of, and of course the San Antonio Song Garden is one of them, along with many other San Antonio and across you know, Texas and the U.S. So I would like check on them, you know, every weekend or you know once a week, see whatever new opportunities they have coming up, and then develop you know, like a pitch, uh, knowing like how to approach these kind of organizations with people. That's another suggestion, you know, for a musician, try to be professional so you can approach organizations that have these opportunities so then the musicians can participate in them as well. Because a lot of, sometimes they miss that point. Um, I used to intern at SATX Music, some of y'all may know. And I used to get emails from musicians asking to book to like play a show and it would be very informal. So it doesn't look good. But then you know, when a musician kind of knows what they want and has a plan set out, that looks very professional, looks really good. So, and then you know, working with these guys has been, has been incredible. Um, but yeah, Matt, super professional. He has his own company, which is where we want to be, you know, <laughs> in the future. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. Well done. Appreciate it. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I have a question. Okay. So, between the artist and the director, what were y'all's favorite scenes to shoot? Um, I would like to hear yours first. Ooh, that's tough. I would have to say the running scenes are kind of fun because I mean, I like to work out, but it's, it's not really intense. Yeah. 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 Director, what was your favorite scene to shoot for this? Um, I would say that I definitely enjoyed capturing a lot of aerial stuff. Okay. Um, we did a lot of that up in Comfort, Texas. Um, nice. I, I hired a driver for the day, and uh, I was piloting the drone in the pass my own passenger seat. And uh, all you know, the whole production was going 40 miles an hour, you know, through trees, and uh, definitely pretty risky, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the result. And then. Uh, the behind the car shots, you know, I had I had that same drone camera and I had it fixed to the front of my vehicle, and uh, I was able to pull focus and you know control the camera from within my car. Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely pretty cool. Uh, definitely a little stressful to have that much gear on, you know, in that precarious of a situation, but uh, it worked out. So, so oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I just wanted to personally compliment me, uh, compliment me on the driving shots. Like that was my favorite part. I had to make yeah. everything just framed really well, and it's like oh, that looks really nice. Yeah, come from the car guy, man. Yeah. <laughs> so did you did you uh, drive a motorcycle or is no, that? No, I already drive. That's my body double. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That'd be my favorite part. I was actually. Able to oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Confidence. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
She gets to drive the car, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah actually, whose car is that? Because that's pretty cool. That's a, a friend of ours, uh, Matt, a uh, time wheel. Okay. Yeah, 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 I'm a time wheel. Yeah, and I didn't even realize uh, until afterwards how, you know, I guess rare the vehicle I know. was. Uh, yeah, you had a lot of, I guess it's an AE86. You had a lot of, like, you know, car nerds coming out of the woodworks and, like, Purely to complement yeah. the vehicle, well, it's it's easy to find, find. especially in good condition. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's amazing that you were able to find that one. So yeah, people are asking yeah. like, did, did she drift? So I'm guessing it was a car used for drifting. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was in like initial DU, like you okay. said, yeah. Japanese. Oh yeah. Car, yeah. So there you go. <laughs> Everyone learns to swim up from. Right. Yeah, we actually we had a a car before that vehicle that didn't work out. Um, a buddy of mine uh, works for a like, limousine company. Mm -hmm. He let us use uh, a 60s Rolls Royce initially. Ooh. The Rolls Royce didn't even make it out of the parking lot, the battery <laughs> died. Uh, and then we ended up with a 60s Bentley that looked virtually the same, it was all, all white. And uh, we made it all the way out to the location. And uh, she, was, so she was driving it down the street and we we're getting performance shots. And at the very end of the road, the transmission dies. Mm -hmm. And so we. <laughs> We had to push it, or we had to pop it in neutral and uh, push it around and eventually take off with it. And the, uh, what's that? It was a clutch, yeah. No, it was actually, it was an automatic car. I was surprised, okay. yeah. Um, so he, you know, he says we need to get back to the shop. He starts taking it back to the shop, back to the shop and uh, calls me a few minutes later and says, you know, I, I can't even make it that far. Um, I'm gonna have to pull off in this auto zone. We, we push the car into a parking space, and uh, he goes to turn it off, and the key breaks off in the ignition. <laughs> <laughs> so like, every single thing that could have gone wrong is well, and then it stays, it stays overnight, and <laughs> someone tried to break into it overnight. Right? Yeah, wow. they, didn't, they didn't make off of it. So, I have a question, Matt. Uh, sure. So, when you were listening to the music, like, what was it about the you know, that attracted to the song? And, did you have some type of preconceived notion of what you wanted these videos to be before you that? I, um, I've known Mia for about a year. Uh, actually, in my demo reel, you can see we, we've interviewed her before. And that was, that was the very first time I ever met her or saw her perform. And um, I, I had not had the opportunity to work with her until, until this. Um, but I've always been a fan of her music, uh, definitely you know, respected her craft. Um, but in terms of the video or the, the song itself, I we had no preconceived you know sort of ideas or anything. Uh, we, we basically just sat down with her and found out what, what she enjoys, you know, the types of influence that she's had and the things that she likes uh, from a film perspective. And um, we were able to kind of come up with this idea pretty cohesively together. Um, yeah, I think it worked out pretty nicely. Yeah. So if y'all want to see more of me and Matt, we're having an event at uh, Frank right down the road uh, this Thursday. So if you guys want to stop by, we're having like a little party and then performance. We just got back from tour on Sunday. We got back at 3 a.m. We had, <laughs> Heck yeah. we had uh, Dallas, uh, Dallas, San Antonio, Austin, no, Houston and Austin, all in the span of four days. We'll drive, <laughs> chill, perform, wake up, drive, perform, and all that. So we're having like a little welcome home party for her at Frank. If you want to stop by from 11 to like 1 a.m. It's file on entry, we're gonna try to recover some expenses. <laughs> and then we're also sending CDs and some artwork as well. Cool. So if you guys want to stop by this Thursday from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. and come get some hot dogs and watch me perform as well. <laughs>